Hello stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a beautiful and sunny Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Sunday night Facebook Live where we are going to have a whole bunch of inky fun. Hi Bonnie, you're the first one in tonight. Welcome! So, I'm going to get myself set up here on my computer so we can get busy. I've got some announcements and all kinds of good stuff tonight. Hang on, what's happening? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> my computer's not cooperating with me. Here we go. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, so I can see all your comments coming in. Hi Connie, hi Kathy. Lori's here, welcome you guys. Did you guys have a good weekend? We had some really hot and very sunny weather here. We had a few storm showers. Um, <laughs> thanks, Heather. Heather said, hello, Kelly. You look so nice. Thank you so much. I was actually in my swimsuit a few minutes ago out by the pool. <laughs> so, yeah, it's amazing what some clothes will do for you. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Hi, Dee. Welcome. So yeah, we had a few storms this weekend, and I really noticed them because Steve and I have been sleeping in the summer home, which is parked in the driveway. For those of you that may be new to me, my summer home is a camper, and I like to call it a summer home because that's fancy. <laughs> I said, what's better than having a summer home in your driveway with the convenience of your house and a pool? Who needs to go any place, right? <laughs> No, I do need to go places. So last week, um, I did take a break from working and I was floating around on an air mattress and I hollered at Steve who was in the garage. Said, Steve, come out here. And he came outside and I said, listen, I am getting restless. We need to go someplace. <laughs> He's like, oh, and he went back in the garage like I was crazy. A little while later, he comes back out and he's like, Let's go to Marquette, Michigan. We can take our bicycles. We'll check out the bike trails. And it's beautiful up there in the Upper Peninsula. So that is exactly what we're doing. And we're leaving tomorrow morning. I'll be back on Wednesday, so don't worry. But um, we're just going to take a little road trip up to Marquette. And my, you know my friend, Connie, that sends me the sea salt caramels? Yeah, well, she lives in Marquette, so we're going to have dinner with her Tuesday night, and I think that's going to be super fun. Oh, and Jackie said they had scary thunderstorms yesterday. We had some very brief storms blow through, and like I said, I knew that it rained because when you're in a camper, it's like kind of like it's a fiberglass roof, so it's like boom, 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 boom with the rain. It, was, it gets kind of crazy. Otherwise, this chick, we do not wake up. I do not wake up for anything. <laughs> When I go to bed, I'm exhausted, as you can probably well understand, because, you know, I'm going 100 miles an hour all the time, but when it's time to sleep, I am out. So, yeah. Yeah, Judy says that sounds like fun. It really is. I'm really looking forward to it. Connie's watching tonight. Connie, I'm looking forward to dinner and seeing you. It's going to be super fun. So, um, who just asked, are you talking about your summer home? Yes, I am talking about my summer home, which is parked in the driveway and has air conditioning. So when it's hot here, we sleep in it. So it's like I'm camping every once in a while. <laughs> For the last several nights, we've been camping in the driveway with the convenience of the house and my clothes and my shower and my bathroom. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, hang on. My battery's low. Mom, I must have come unplugged. And where's my plug? Oh, yep, I did. Okay. Ugh. Do not worry. <laughs> I remember somebody, and I can't remember who it was, but they told me that they watched, they started watching me regularly because the first time they ever watched me, I did a dive under my desk. <laughs> Just like I just did. <laughs> but my phone cord came unplugged, and now I'm questioning if it's really charging. So just know that if I lose you tonight, I, it, I can't tell when it's live because it doesn't beep and it doesn't do anything. So if I lose you tonight, hang tight. 
do a do a refresh on your screen and I will get plugged in and back in but I think I'm plugged in now unless my cord is somehow unplugged at the other end but I think we're I think we're good you guys we're good don't worry <laughs> it's always an adventure here right and I've got Haley coming in and out of my office she's here tonight working on some swap cards for me so that's a little distracting I see Kathy and Joe just showed up and Debbie yay yeah and Debbie says fun in the summer home Debbie travels all over the country in an RV I believe and so yeah I know I saw you were just in Oregon the other day and good for you I, I love to travel and of course with this whole quarantine thing that's kind of put a kibosh on certain travel right yeah, so you got to do what you can do and make the most of it. So, like I said, we're going to throw our bikes. I ordered a bike rack for the car, but it's not coming till tomorrow, probably afternoon. So we're going to throw the bikes in the back of the truck, and we're going to just, we're going to head up to Green Bay. We're stopping at Cabela's because Steve said he has Cabela's points that he needs to spend. You know how those stores always get you in with the points? Yeah, that reminds me. I think I have some Kohl's cash. <laughs> You know how those stores always get you in with the points or the cash or the whatever. And then we're going to drive up to Marquette after we shop at Cabela's. And we are um, staying in a hotel. And we're going to go on the trails. I hear the trails up there are just beautiful. And we've never done that before. We've never gone bicycling. That's what we're doing on bicycles. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And uh, Judy's asking about my million. I am not there yet, you guys, but I am very close. Oh, it's on my phone. I'm 7,000 some dollars away from my million. So I have to tell you, you know that Stampin' Up! has been contacting me and getting all my information and all my things so that when this happens, they are ready to announce it because it's a super big deal. So I'm excited. It's going to happen soon. And every order helps. <laughs> so I want to thank you guys so much for helping me get there. And um, it'll come. It's going to be soon. It's going to be soon. Oh, and Wendy says, hello from 122 degree Arizona. Oh, my Lord. You could fry eggs, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry it's that hot there. But you know what? You're in Arizona. And when we talk about it being 30 below zero here... Yeah, it's just a reverse, right? You can't go outside because it's too hot, and we can't go outside because our face will crack and freeze off. <laughs> so why do I live someplace that makes my face hurt when I go outside in the winter? I don't know. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, I've got a couple announcements. Oh, Haley, here's the cards I was looking for. We were just looking for some cards, and I'm like, I don't know what to do with those cards. Sometimes it's a little frantic here in my little stamping studio before we go live trying to find everything so anyways if you didn't see it i am again oh let me mirror my screen hang on just a second if you if i lose you guys don't panic there we go so this is the beautiful gilded autumn specialty designer series paper and i am doing um samplers again for the um hang on things are distracting I'm doing samplers again. We did just did the annual catalog DSP samplers and you get a printout of all of the samplers and it we even added the item code for this paper. All of the colors that are coordinating, you get packages, whoops, this is backwards so it's weird. You get packages of the designer series paper cut two by four and all of the, um, coordinating colors in a kit so that you can make these for yourself. So you get a whole bunch of these pages with all the names on it and you get to make these yourself. That is on my blog and when I get done with my Facebook Live here tonight I will post a link directly to it so that you can find it. But these were super popular you guys. I made 160 set of these, sets of these and I sold out immediately. I will again be making 160 sets. Somebody said you should make more. I, I don't think so because it is just a tremendous amount of work. But I'm going to do 160 again and it's first come first serve. So if you would like to get a set of these, they're $30. There are 12 different packs of designer series paper coming out in our holiday mini catalog. Oh, and isn't this, whoops, let me do it right. Isn't this gorgeous? This paper is just delicious. 
And Healy, you did you use this paper for some swap cards, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, she loved it. Loved it. So that's happening. Then I just got so much happening. I got a little behind, so now I've got things kind of piling up. This is the new happy so much happy that's what it's called the so much happy bundle this is my newest kit class for july this is the one that i do with ashley pfeiffer out of canada and this was a card that we dem i demonstrated for a blog hop that took place yesterday morning here's just a different version this uses gold accents on the stars and the banners this one used knight of navy and aren't these just so so pretty this is a bundle this is my kit class. It is $49 for the kit. Uh, let me see. The kit includes the Playing With Patterns, this designer series paper, the Playing With Patterns ribbon combo pack, the Playing With Patterns little resin dots. $49. You get eight cards, four different designs in a pre-cut pack. And if you would like to add on the bundle, which is the stamp set and the dies, it is an additional $53. I can't remember all this stuff, you guys. <sighs> the struggle's real. But anyways, $49 for the kit. You can add on the bundle for an additional $53. And when you go to my blog and look for the online classes, it's in there. You fill out the form and I will invoice you through PayPal. Now, that brings me to another little thing that I wanted to let you know. I'm usually really on top of my invoicing, but sometimes when I get a little behind on things, I let my emails sit for a little bit while I'm getting deadlines done. And that means that you're not gonna get an invoice until I go do my emails, because I think some people think that when they push that go button on ordering a class or a kit, that something is automatically generated, but that's not the case at all. This is all a very manual process. I have to read your email. I have to take your email address into my newsletter service where I do a search for you and I find out which option, options you've chose. And then I go into PayPal and I have to manually invoice you. So I just want to let you know that nothing is automatic. When you order an online class from me, I get your email with your order in it and I have to physically attach that class to an email and email it back to you. So I just want to let you know that every once in a while, if there is a delay, um, that's why. And it's never too extensive. Like I say, I will get these to you within 48 hours. Most of the time it's right away, but sometimes it's not. And it's never a bad thing to check with me if you don't hear from me or you don't get what you've ordered right away. Because every once in a while, not often, but every once in a while, an email will slip through, I'll miss it, whatever. Um, it's, it's all, I'm human, <laughs> and you guys know that I, um, yeah, everything doesn't run perfect all the time. So just so you know that. Now, this is my happy class. Okay, the other thing that I have going right now is my Celebrate Sunflowers. That is an online class that I do with my friends Dina and Barb. And that is also available right now. And you have three options with that one. You can order the entire suite from me, and that cost is $125. You will get the online class for free and a pre-cut cardstock pack for eight greeting cards plus a bonus stationery holder and eight notes. Very cool, wonderful ideas. Um, that's available on my blog. Here's another sunflower card. Isn't this pretty? And this is not part of the class, you guys. These are projects that are on my blog as additional ideas using the Sunflower Bundle. The second way you can get the Sunflower class is with the pre-cut cardstock pack and the um, 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 online class for $40. Or if you're not in the United States, you can get the online class only for $25. And my online classes, each project or card comes with an individual um, video tutorial that shows you step-by-step -step how to do it. You get photographs of each project in a written document, um, some written instructions with that link to that video. So I know Kathy says she loves the sunflowers. I love the sunflowers. You know what I really love about them? I love that 
while this is definitely sunflowers, right? This doesn't have to be sunflowers. It's just a very, very pretty flower as well as this one. Whatever color you want to make them is what they're going to be. So um, these could be dahlias almost because when you change the color, they're just beautiful. And that's what I love about this suite of products or bundle, I guess, is it can be so versatile. It can be anything you want it to be. So, and I see Sue just shared it. Um, if you guys can please click on that share button right now and share my video, that really helps me out. That also enters you in a drawing to win a door prize. Amazing door prizes. <laughs> Stamping supplies are always amazing, right? Okay, what else did I want to tell you? Um, we have a new store coming. So the store that you go shop in right now to order your stuff, we have a brand new store coming out August 4th. I want to make you aware of this. Because all of your bookmarks, if you happen to have my online store bookmarked in a, um, a favorite or your bookmarks, that link probably won't work as of August 4th because it's going to be different. And I just want you guys to, to know that things are going to happen August 4th. Also, if you have a device that automatically auto fills when you go to sign in to my Stampin' Up! store, it fills in your email address, it fills in your password, that's not going to work either because you're going to be going to a different link. So what I want you to do now is I want you to go write down your username, which, which is your, pass, or, um, your email address, which you should know, but also write down your password because as of August 4th, that probably will not work anymore. And I don't want you to have the frustration if you're going to be, you know, if you're having to be in a hurry or whatever. Do it now. Write it down so that when August 4th comes, you can click on my new link. You can bookmark that or save that to your favorites. And then you can do your password in there, which will still be the same password, but it's just a different link. So it won't autofill it. And then your device should autofill it from then on. I just want you to know that because I know when things change, it's like, oh my Lord, they changed it. But this is going to be a really good change because I think everything is going to be so much nice, nicer than, um, than shopping now. It's going to be a, a huge upgrade in our store and we're really excited about it. So I think I, that's all the info I have to share with you tonight. I do want to get to the giving away the prizes because I love that part. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Oh, you know what? I'm like, why is it so dark in here? Probably, whoops, hang on, my light just fell. I do not have, there, now my lights are on. Now I'm brighter, right? Okay, when you comment, if you're new to me, please leave a comment, whether you say, hi from Philadelphia, or hi from, this is Sandy, or whatever. You want to leave a comment because that'll enter you into a drawing to win a door prize. And from last week's Sunday Facebook Live, we have Judy Kruth is our winner, and Judy is going to get a pack of these beautiful rhinestones. These are the holiday rhinestones. Oh my gosh, so pretty, so many colors. I love these. So those will be off in the mail to you, Judy. I do have your address. Second, you get a entered into another prize drawing for sharing my video. And the person who shared last week and won my drawing is going to get this beautiful, whoops, let's see if I can do this right. Oh, it's hard. Beautiful specialty designer series paper. This is a half a pack of six by six. Oh, it's only one-sided. <laughs> I'm like trying to show you both sides of nothing. <laughs> Here we go. Look at how pretty that is. It's beautiful. And our winner from sharing last week is Patty Wyanecki. Patty, congratulations. You're gonna have some fun mail coming in the mail this week. I also do have your address. Last but not least, when you place an order with me, you go into another drawing. And my winner this week is going to get one of these gorgeous card kits. This is the Kerchief Card Kit. It, it is highly sought after. And also, someone donated a collapsible scrap bin, and you're going to get this also. And my winner of that is Jean Moreland. You are getting both of these in the mail this week. Yay, winners! Okay. So make sure you share my video, 
leave a comment. And also your orders are always appreciated, but I get it if you have a demonstrator. I don't want to be stealing anybody's customers or anything like that. That's not how we roll here in Menasha, Wisconsin. Let's just be perfectly clear. Okay, I have a ton of mail. So if you guys remember last week, I have this huge bin of mail. Like, I'm not even kidding. And I have some presents in here. Oh, one thing I do want, I opened this up, and I'm going to show it to you because I want to wear it. I'm going to do my mail after the stamping. So if you guys can and want to hang around for that, otherwise you can always come back and replay the video. And did you guys know, some of you might not know, <laughs> I see Patty's on there, yay Patty, um, that when you watch the replay, if you don't want to hear all this chit chat in the beginning, you can take your, your little, um, the little button that goes back and forth and you can fast forward to where I do the stamping. Or maybe you left off someplace. You can fast forward to where you left off and rewatch from that point forward. You don't have to watch the whole thing. Although, you know, it is kind of funny. I'm <laughs> just kidding. So, I got this gift. And, of course, I open all my mail. I have opened all my mail. I just haven't had a chance to show it to all of you guys. This is from Lucia Lise. I got this beautiful, beautiful card. Look at that. It's a shaker. Isn't that cute? And it's got my, my initials, so it's like monogrammed personally for me. And it is a happy birthday card from her. And I got this beautiful little metallic bag. And inside that beautiful little bag is this gorgeous bracelet. And so I wanted to wear it tonight. So there you have it. Lucia, thank you so much. I love bracelets. And this one certainly fits the bill. This is something that I would have purchased myself. I love this kind of stuff. Thank you so much. You are so sweet to have sent that to me. And I really do love it. So I'm going to set your card right there. And I will open up more mail when we're done stamping and show you guys some more amazing cards that I got because they're so, so pretty. All right, let me get my computer out of the way. I am getting, I have to pack tonight when I'm done. And what else do I have to do? I have a blog hop tomorrow night. I have a blog hop coming with a creative inking blog hop. Our theme is summer fun. So make sure you check that out on my blog. It's going to go live tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Central Time. And um, I made some really cute cards to share with you. I used the A Whale of a Time Suite. So very cool. It's a fun fold. I'm not going to spoil the beans on anything else there. You'll have to check it out on my blog. There's also a video tutorial. So you can find out how to make the fun fold. What else can I tell you? Um, yeah, I'm packing tonight. So I don't have to pack a lot. Well, you know, I don't know what to bring. It's not, it's going to be in the high 60s when we're in Marquette. So, um, but then we're going to be biking. So it's like, I don't know what. Right now what I go in is a tank top and shorts and tennis shoes. But I don't like to be cold. <laughs> you guys know I like the heat, but I do not like to be cold. So I'm not really sure what I should pack, what I should wear. So I think I'm going to probably overpack, which is fine because we're driving and it's not going to cost me extra money, right? Yeah. Okay. I am just unloading my basket here. We are going to be using the Celebrate Sunflowers stamp set to make some very pretty cards. This card is the card that I actually used for my June Technique Club. And I didn't make a video yet. So, um... Yeah, June, because it's July right now, right? <laughs> like, I don't know what month it is. <laughs> it's just all whizzing by so fast. But um, this is for my June Technique Club, and I'll talk to you a little bit about what that is and what's included and all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, some, some really pretty cards. They're easy. And, again, the Sunflower set is my uh, July online class. So, time to take a drink. Oh, you guys. Mm. Steph and Anna were here all day yesterday and they brought mojitos. So they made mojitos and oh my Lord, I like mojitos anyways, but the ones that they made were over the moon. Amazing. Crazy. Amazing. 
And I see Judy Farr is trying to video chat me. That's not going to happen, Judy. Because <laughs> I'm with my people. <laughs> Anyways, mojitos. So they took this lemon, no, this lime aid in a container. Not like the concentrated can, but in a container. Dumped that in a big pitcher. They took um, rum, right? That's what's in there, rum, I think. Dumped that in there. Took some mint and did this with it. Anna did this with it and threw that in there. And uh, a, a lime or two limes and squeezed that in. And then a half a lemon and squeezed that in. And um, then you pour it over ice. You could blend it in a blender, but pour it over ice. And then Anna had this amazing juice. You know how you buy a container of orange juice? Well, this is what was a container of orange, peach, and mango all in one container. And so once you fill your glass up with ice, then you throw a dash of this juice in there, the peach orange mango. We drank those all day. They were amazing. Amazing. Guess who was in bed at 10 o'clock last night? This girl. <laughs> I slept like a baby until the storm came, which I did here, but then I went right back to sleep. Anyways, we're ready to stamp. Hang tight. I am going to turn you around. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I will. Judith says, oh my gosh, the mojitos sound divine. They are. <laughs> Maybe I'll share the recipe with you guys. It was just so good, I couldn't believe it. Like, I like mojitos, but these were to die for mojitos. They were so good. So, I am going to turn you around. Please close your eyes if you get motion sickness. I don't want anybody throwing up. And I will let you know when you can open your eyes. It's not yet because I got to get myself all adjusted, make sure that I don't like end our little time together here prematurely. <laughs> we don't want that to happen. Nobody likes that. Okay. I don't know. Did I just say that? I did. Shh. I'm going to shut up now. There we go. Okay. Let me get my cord adjusted. We are good to go, you guys. You can open your eyes. <laughs> Here's our flowers for every season designer series paper. This is part of the Celebrate Sunflowers suite of products. Hang on, I'm trying to open up a box here so I can see what's going on. So I am going to, oh, did I make a new, hang on, did I make a new, I need my pad here and I can't find it. Sorry, there we go. Whew. I don't know what I did with it, but I've got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Anyways, um, we are going to be making a really cool technique. And this is called, I'm pretty sure it's called a split negative. And there are several different ways to do it. I consulted with my friends, um, Dina and Barb, and they agreed that this was called the split negative. And so I'm running with that, although I'm not sure. <laughs> lie to you. <laughs> I don't really know what it's called. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Envelope. We've got a whisper white envelope. We've got a piece of four by five and a quarter inch whisper white. Our card base is bumblebee and it is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just going to fold that in half and burnish that edge with my bone folder. And now I'm going to take off my little jacket because I'm getting warm. I had my little room air conditioner going in here, but I know it's kind of loud, so I shut it off. We should, we should be okay. Don't worry. All right, next, I have a piece of early espresso. And this piece, where's my dimensions? Here they are. Let me put those up there. This little piece is three and three quarters by five. All these dimensions can be found on my blog when we're done with the Facebook Live, I will put them in there with still photographs and also links to all the products I'm using today. Okay, so early espresso, three and three quarters by five. And then I have three panels. Oh, and this card was actually, I got it in a swap by Ginny, and I can't remember Ginny's last name right now. It's G-I-N-N-Y. Can't remember her last name. But anyways, this is her design. And I told her I would tell her when I made a video so she can watch it. And I asked her permission to use it. Funny story. I said, Ginny, can I use this for my Technique Club card? And she goes, absolutely. Funny thing, 
you know, she got my swap card too. And she goes, it was the pineapple card. You guys remember the cute little pineapple card that I made? Hang on, I will find one for you. Maybe. And, oh, here we go. I was going to say, and maybe not. Remember this card that I made? She got this in exchange for this one. And she goes, I just got done cutting up your pineapple card for her stamp club. So isn't that funny that we both loved each other's cards and we're, we're using them to share with everybody. So I just thought that was really cute that what were the chances of that? Anyways, three panels we've got here. This is Cajun Craze and this panel is one and a half by three and a half. And then I've got Bumblebee, same size, one and a half by three and a half. And then I've got Cinnamon Cider, one and a half by three and a half. And I'm going to scroll my screen here because I think I'm way behind. I am. So if you asked a question and I'm, I missed it. Oh, Penny Ginnery, that's her, that's her name. Hi, Penny. Penny's watching tonight. Yay. So I thought it was, yeah, we're not going to go into my memory problems. So we'll just leave that alone. But I'm so glad I just saw your, your message. So here we go. We've got three panels of cardstock and what I like to do you could just hold these together and stamp on them but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some temporary tape now remember when you use any type of temporary tape you want to like stick it to your clothes and peel it and stick it and peel it because it's still kind of too sticky and it can tear your cardstock you don't want that to happen so I'm going to put all three of these panels together and stamp on this side and now I'm going to bring in my early espresso and the large sunflower. So yeah, this was Penny's card and I just absolutely fell in love with it. We're going to stamp this just like this. There we go. And then I'm going to bring in the smaller sunflower and I'm going to stamp this in various spots on the card. Just like that. And then we've got these leaves here that are oh so pretty. And I'm going to do just a little fill in with the leaves. And then I might just stamp one more little sunflower right up there. So, whoops. So then this is what we have, right? Now, whoops, hang on a second. I got to clean that. Where'd my cleaner go? Mm, Haley, did you take my cleaner? Yeah, I think she might have taken it. Don't worry, I have baby wipes. I don't, I can't find my chamois. That's what I'm looking for here. Okay, so I'm going to get this all cleaned up. And then, where's my, here's my bumblebee ink. As long as we're stamping and we've got our ink out, I'm going to bring in my envelope. And, oh, I think... I'll bring in my white layer. Sorry, don't mean to be confusing, but I'm gonna bring in my white layer. I'm gonna stamp my sunflower right there. Oh, I should have just done what I was gonna to do to begin with. Um, Cause now I'm gonna clean this big stamp off. Where is my chamois? I wonder if Haley's watching and she can hear me struggling to find the chamois. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what happened to it. Oh, it's not there either. I'm still looking, searching. Who knows? Okay, so we got that cleaned off. I'm going to stamp that here. And we're going to take that, oops, yeah. And we're going to stamp it on our envelope. Do you know where my chamois is? I can't find it any place. Okay, I think we're done with this. I'm gonna stop looking for it now because it's I'm over it. Okay. Yeah, here's one. <laughs> okay. Whew. All right. Now, these three pieces that are all stuck together here, we're gonna take that tape off the back and separate them. Now you could leave them all stuck together like that. That's that's pretty too. But I love the way that Penny took these panels and separated them on the bigger layer of early espresso. I just thought that was so cool. Here we go. I do the I do the 
left one then I'm going to do the right one. Now you want to make sure that you keep these the same way that you stamped them, right? So that it kind of just flows onto the next panel. And here we go. And here's our last one in the middle. This should fit right in there. And yay, it does. Woohoo! And isn't that just the coolest look? I absolutely loved this card. So. Kudos to Penny, way to go, you rocked this. Now we're going to take this and add it to the front of our Bumblebee card base. Okay, and then, hang on, I gotta get my, oh, do I have my dies out here? I used the ornate, oh, here we go, the ornate layering dies. And in here, they have this long, thin rectangle. I shouldn't say I use it. Well, I did, because I'm making this card. But Penny used it to design her card. And she die cut this on a piece of bumblebee. And of course, when you do that, that's what you get. And now we're gonna use our early espresso. Now, in this particular stamp set, the Celebrate Sunflowers, there's two long greetings in here, so you could do let's celebrate you or thanks a bunch. And I think I'm going to do, well, I think I'm, I'm gonna do the let's celebrate you. Either one would work just fine. And that's crooked, yay, Kelly. So I'm gonna flip it over and try again. There we go, yay! Let's celebrate you. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let me put that away. Haley, can you turn that fan on over there? On high? <laughs> Mama's getting a little hot here. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right, now I'm gonna get the dimensionals out. I had to get a new pack out because I used all the other ones. Did you guys see my tip that was shared with me by, I can't remember her name, but I said it in the video. If you take a Sharpie marker and run this across just a stripe across your dimensionals that it helps you to know if your backing is off or not. So I have a funny little story to share with you. I told my daughter, Haley, who's sitting across the table from me, what my Wednesday tip video was last week or the week before when I shared this. And she and I, I said, this is what my video is going to be. She's like, seriously? <laughs> I was like, yes. She thought it was pretty silly. And I said, no, 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 this is going to be a game changer. And I can't tell you guys how many of you left comments saying that it was a game changer. So thank you. And um, <laughs> we had a good laugh over it. And Haley's giving me the look across the table because she thought it was kind of silly. But I knew. I knew you guys would love that one. So see what I mean? When you put these dimensionals, when you put that stripe on there, you don't have to, whoops, let me get my hair out of there. You don't have to touch them now to know that the backing is off. And how this came about was our black dimensionals, when you pull the white backing off the back, then they're black and you know, you don't have to go around touching them to see if you got the back off of them, right? So yeah, pretty cool. And now we're just going to put this right here. We're going to take the inside layer and put this inside our card. I wouldn't have had to add a white layer. I could have simply stamped a early espresso sunflower on the inside of the card. That would have been fine. Look how pretty that is. Do you guys love this? I thought it was just so cool. Then with my online technique club, here is my instruction card. So everybody that's in my technique club gets the card, this physical card. Plus they get a little instruction card that has the technique on it. It may be different colors, it may be whatever, but it's still the same technique. The directions on how to do the technique. So you can punch a hole in these and you can put them on a ring and have a whole book of techniques. You can take them and put them in one of our wood stamp cases and have a whole pile of these cool techniques so that when you're looking for a technique idea, you can look at your own technique cards and figure out something to make. Now, what do you have to do to be part of this online technique club? 
You need to place a minimum $25 before tax and shipping order with me every month for six consecutive months. Each month that you do that, you will get the technique card, this and this, for the month. At the end of the six months, you get a $30 credit towards your order. Yay, right? So that's how the Technique Club works. And then I kind of went a little crazy with this whole thing. Hang on, I'm going to put these stamps away so I don't destroy anything here. I went a little nuts with this whole design because I loved it. And Penny, kudos to you. You did an amazing job. So let me grab my other colors here. Because you know I like to do that. I can get them out of the box. Hang on, because yeah, I'm going to show you a box in a second too. Here we go. That was frustrating. So here's the card that Penny made, designed. Here it is in different colors. So we have Daffodil Delight with Mango Melody and So Saffron. Yellows with a black base and black ink. Here's my inside and my envelope. What do you guys think? Hang on, my computer is not scrolling again. There we go. Then, here it is with the blue greens. This is Pool Party, Bermuda Bay, and Just Jade. And then I use Bermuda Bay ink. I use black for my ink on the flowers, and then I use my black marker to splatter it in the background. And my inside. And then here comes the pinks. I use Rococo Rose for this panel, the card base. This is Mango Melody and Flirty Flamingo. All black ink on this one with the black layer underneath. And another white layer on the inside and the envelope. So I made all these cards based on Penny's design. And then I decided, wow, this would make a really cool gift, wouldn't it? Right? So then I had to come up with some type of a gift idea. So hang tight. Let me stack these up and I'll show you what I came up with. Now, I've got a piece of Bermuda Bay here and we are going to do some scoring on that. Bring in my paper trimmer. <laughs> Saunders says, oh my goodness, I'll have to make all these. I know, right? I, you know, I get on a roll and, and just a, a beautiful car design that Penny designed and then I got on a roll with what else could I do with this? Well, I certainly could have used different stamps on here. Um, maybe even a different label, but I love the long rectangle label. And then I thought, let's just do a whole bunch of different colors. And I ran out of time kind of, or I would have done more colors like oranges and gosh, what else do we have? Blues and you know, we could have just gone crazy. But now I decided I needed this little box. Let me make sure I have my, that's my cutting blade. See, this one is backwards. You guys know how to change the blades in this? So I'm going to switch this around because other people are using my stuff and then they put it in backwards and then I mess up. So, not that I mind other people using my stuff, but I just, I'm used to it a certain way. You know what I mean? You get used to it a certain way. Judah says she loves getting on a roll. You ran out of time. I know, Judith, right? <laughs> it happens more often than you would know. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece. This is three by ten and seven eighths. We are going to score this at five eighths. It's actually easier for me to score it this way. So I'm going to put it into my paper trimmer and score it at five eighths of an inch. And now I'm going to turn it around where I'm going to score it at five and an eighth, five and three quarters, and then ten and a quarter. Oh, shoot. Stamp it first. Okay, sorry, I kind of blew that. But I was going to stamp this first because it just looks nicer if you stamp it first. But you guys will get that, right? And here comes my pad. So we're going to stamp it, and we're going to use that big sunflower. 
Here's my cleaner. I'm like, where did my cleaner go? She just gave it to me. Now I can't find it again. So we're going to clean these all off. We don't need any of those. Clean this off. And we'll clean this off. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab the Bermuda Bay ink. See if I can get my fingers in it first, because why wouldn't you? And we're going to stamp this large sunflower. Now, you guys have seen me do this before. When I have a big stamp like this, I kind of like to leave it up on the table like this so I can see what's going on with the ink. And I really only do that on the big stamps. We're going to stamp our Bermuda Bay big sunflower on here like about three times. That should work. See see what I'm talking about? You see how the lines, if you would have stamped this first, you wouldn't have those empty lines in there. But it's not going to make that much difference. But I just jumped the gun. I should have stamped first. Okay, there's our big sunflower. Now we're going to come in with our little sunflower and we're going to fill in. Now maybe move it right there. A little bit there. How about just a touch there and maybe a little bit there. And then I want to bring that big leaf in. I'm going to put that right there. You're just going to fill in. Fill in. Make sure that you don't have a bunch of big blank spaces. Uh, I don't think that's going to fit there. I'm going to try these little leaves. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Good deal. Oh, and then you need a white scrap. So I'm going to take a white scrap and I want to use one of these other larger sentiments. So I'm going to use this one that says, congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. And I love this because of course it could apply to anybody. And then I'm going to grab my timeless label punch and we're going to punch that out. And it just fits in here so nicely. Okay, let me get these all out of the way so we don't have any accidents. We'll close this up. And now we're going to fold and burnish on our score lines. Oh, I see a whole bunch of people joining in. Welcome. Glad you guys could make it. And you can always go back and watch the replay to catch what you missed. Okay. Now, I am going to take one of our acetate boxes. When you buy these, you get a pack of 10 of them. They're all scored for you. So all you have to do is push on those score lines to, to assemble your box. So I'm going to do that. There we go. And now the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pile of cards right here and I am going to put my Bermuda Bay envelope in the front and make sure that there's a white envelope in the back. We're going to put these in the box. Oops. But well, let's see if Kelly can get the cards in the box. I know I can do it. I know I can. <laughs> they're not really that tight. I'm just really fumbly tonight. There we go. They're not, they're not too tight. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now this one's going to get hung up on that little tab. So let me see if I can get that pushed down in there. Might need to put your bone folder in here to hold that envelope flap down. Do you see what's happening there? Right there on that tab where we closed it? Yeah, so this is what we have. I'm gonna close this all the way up, bend it on the score lines, secure my lid, and now we're going to take this and we're going to wrap it around this box. And this fits perfectly around here. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. So 
I am going to use a little bit of our stamp and seal. This stuff is awesome and it is very, very sticky. And what you might find when you're using this that you need to run it and then do the check mark thing. Do you remember we did that with our um, fast fuse? Do that little run it, check mark, run it, check mark. So you're going to run it and check mark right, run it, check mark left. What's happening with this dispenser is that when you get done just running it, if you don't do the check mark, when you pull this away, I think that it is pulling it back in side so that when you go to use it again, your sticky isn't on this roller. So if you give it to that check mark, it won't retract back in, so you have to pull it out every time. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to center this. We're going to push that down. And now I thought, oops, let me get that centered. There we go. I thought what would look really pretty is some of the everyday or flowers for every season ribbon combo pack. You get all three ribbons in here. And that is part of my online class. I'm going to take this beautiful white linen ribbon and I'm going to run it around my box. Now I want to leave a big enough tail up here so I can tie a pretty bow. And I'm just going to tie a bow right here. Let's see if I can hold it. Eh, sometimes we need like eight hands, right? Not just three, but eight. Let's just go for the gusto. We need eight hands, like an octopus sometimes. There we go. That's pretty. And then I will snip this off. And then here's our label. We're going to grab those dimensionals and we're going to add whoops, dimensionals to this layer. Here we go. And now I have those super easy fun cards in this beautiful little box that I can give as a gift, right? I thought this was really fun, super easy. You could crank out a ton of these in a very short time for a nice little gift. Oh, I was going to show you. Let's pull these cards out. Let's see if I can get them out. There we go. Okay, so here's our Bermuda Bay. And here is our Bumblebee one. And I also, the first one I made was using the Bumble, Bumblebee cardstock and ink. So we've got two boxes here. I need to make some more cards, but what do you guys think? Is that not just super easy and fun? And again, this, yeah, Connie just said, what a great gift idea, perfect for Christmas gifts. It really is. And you know, you could do the thanks a bunch on all of them. You could do the Let's celebrate you because these cards are pretty universal, right? I mean, this is a thank you greeting, but this is anything. You could have it be a birthday card. You could have it be a retirement card. It could be anything. If somebody's having a baby, like they just found out, that would work. So, yeah, super, super easy and fun. So, this is my Technique card, and that was my Technique card for June. I already have my July Technique card. Club card not only designed but all of them made awaiting to go out when you join the technique club like if you were to join now or before the end of July the technique club cards come out around the first week of the following month of the month that you join so if you join in July you will get your your instruction card and your technique card around the beginning of August and I have to do that to wait for all the people to get their orders in. You need to order between the 1st and the 25th of the month. And then I run a report and it shows me everybody that's ordered and then I can do labels and it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing that I do. But it's it's a very meticulous, planned out thing that I do. And that's kind of unusual for me because I'm not that meticulous or planned out. So, <laughs> there you go, ladies. I am now going to bring out all those cards I've received so I can share them with you. So, hang tight. Let me pick up some of my stuff here. Can I have a chamois? 
Yes. You might need to go put some water in that because it's not working that great. Okay, I'm just going to move all this stuff out of the way so I don't get ink on my beautiful birthday cards. And I think I just got ink all over my fingers. We'll clean these later. All right. Actually, uh, this is a swap, so I will share those with you later. I opened it. That was from Lucia. Oh, this one came. Okay, so here is my beautiful card. And this is from Rose Bell. Look at this pretty birthday card. Is that not gorgeous? I love, she's got the Wink of Stella. These are wooden butterflies. So pretty. Thank you so much, Rose. You are just the sweetest. And Rose sent me a ring light. And I have, mm, I will look the instructions up online. But I got this ring light, so this will provide extra lighting when I'm shooting videos, which is fantastic. Thank you so much, Rose. I've seen them online, but I have never purchased one. And then, look at my crown ring. Isn't that fun? Oh, it's gonna fit on this finger over here. Look at that, isn't that fun? I love it, it matches the crown on my head and I do love crowns, in case you didn't know that about me. Yeah, see if this one will fit on here. Nope, that won't fit on that finger. It'll have to be on this one tonight. Rose, you are so sweet. Thank you so very much. What a dear. Okay, now I'm going to grab just a bunch of these cards, and I will show you a bunch of them tonight, and then I will show you more on a different night because I don't want anybody to get bored with this. <laughs> right? So, this came, isn't this gorgeous? This came from Lisa Meeland. Look at how pretty this is. And she says, thank you, or um, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. It's your day. Enjoy it. And isn't this fun? And she says, thank you. Thanks for all you do for your team. You are helpful and fun and kind. We are truly blessed. Have a great birthday. You deserve it. Lisa, you are so sweet. How cool is that? And we've got this little box. Hang on, let me figure out how to open it. I know there's Ghirardelli's in it, because I think I'm going to have to eat one. Sea salt, dark chocolate, Ghirardelli's, just like I like. Isn't this cute? Super, super cute. So, Lisa, thank you so much. I am so glad that you are a part of my team. I love having you on my team. And that reminds me, you guys, if anybody would like to be part of something bigger, being on my team, whether you're going to build a business or be a discount shopper, is like one of the funnest things to do. The kit's only $99. You get to choose $125 worth of product. And you get a whole bunch of other stuff along with it. Join my team. It's a lot of fun. If you've ever like given it any thought and you're like, oh, I don't know, just do it. If it doesn't work out, it's not a big deal. If you don't continue, it's not a big deal. You can always continue to place orders through me. There's no animosity or hard feelings. But you get to be a part of a group of people. We have a whole Facebook page that is just amazing. And we share so much together in there. All right. This is from Lori Schwent. Look at that with the sunflowers. I love this die cut. Don't you love that die cut? She used a wood background here. Look at the inside. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Love this, Lori. Thank you so much. Then I have a card here from Linda Driggs, and oh, me and Haley were drooling over this too. Look at that. That is just so cool. Remember this one, Haley? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then look at the inside too. 
I might show you guys how to do this because Haley and I were really looking at this and she kind of went, mom, this is what you got to do. And this is how it'll work. And I'm like, oh my Lord, I got, it's cool. So we might do that. Then we have this one and this is from, hang on, got to get it open. This is from Lori Gray. And look at how pretty that is. This is watercolor paper in the background. Absolutely gorgeous. And she used that scalloped edged ribbon. Look at how dirty I am. <laughs> so, so pretty. This is the everyday greenery suite. Gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful. Thank you so much. Then we have Jamie Bauer. This is the same stamp set, you guys. Same stamp set. Just different colors. Isn't that crazy how different it is? Absolutely beautiful from Jamie Bauer. Love this. Very cool. Okay, let me make sure I keep these with their, their things. This one comes to me from Arliss Canoe. This is one of our, this is the Harvest, uh, what was this called? Harvest something stamp set. Absolutely love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Arliss. Look at that. I almost I almost missed doing that. When I opened it before, I saw that. Look at how pretty that is. I love that. Very, very pretty. Thank you so much. Arliss, you always have sweet words for me, and I so appreciate it. Oh, look at this one. This is Mary Lynn Weller. What? Teppy, one of our team members, did a demonstration for us on making this card for our team meeting. So no matter where you are in the United States, you get to attend our virtual team meeting every month. And that's where other demonstrators do demonstrations. And I learn a lot from those other team members, demonstrators. And yeah, this is this was one that one of my team members, Teppy, demonstrated for us. And it was so pretty. This is from Mary Lynn Weller. Mary Lynn, thank you so much. Everybody loves a fun fold that does this, right? Yeah. Then we have Kim Laguerre. Look at how pretty that is. You know I love Tropical Girlfriend. Very, very pretty. Oh, and there's some Wincastella on those flowers too. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah. Beautiful. Then we have, oh, Patty. Patty, I think this is Patty Wayanecki. Yep, let me show your address to everybody in the world. <laughs> I won't. This is so cute. I love the wink of Stella that's on the little um, hearts. And it says, sending you lots of birthday wishes. Celebrate with cake. Thank you so much. And it's red, white, and blue. So that's great for 4th of July. Then we have a paper pumpkin card here. This is from Christina Cooper Ryder. I loved this kit last month. It was called Box of Sunshine. My paper pumpkin kit just came in the mail yesterday. So Steve was out on the porch. He's like, paper pumpkin, paper pumpkin. It was so funny. <laughs> Thank you so much, Christina. I loved this kit. Then we have a card from Cynthia Campbell. Who doesn't love the chickens? Remember the chickens? Are you ready for this? Hang on, I gotta pull this out. Ready? What? Happy 55. This is a twist and pop card, you guys. Wah. Oh, and Claudia wants to know if I tried the brownie brittle yet. I have. I've gotten one bag gone, and Molly helped me sneak into the next one. So we've been enjoying the brownie brittle. Claudia, thank you so much. I'm, I'm just getting my, um, hang on, my computer's not scrolling again here. There we go. Oh, I missed so many questions, you guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know why that happens. Great chickens, Bernie says. I know, right? What? Who doesn't love to play with that? It's so fun. So, oh, there we go. Created by Cynthia. Cynthia, thank you so much. That is just super cute. Then we have a card here from Adrian Day. Look at how pretty that is. Oh. Gorgeous shimmer, beautiful, and look at this. I love the font on my name. This is die cut. Very, very cool. 
Thank you so much, Adrian. This is just so pretty. Then we have Janine Green. Here we go. Oh, Janine. Yeah. So my paper, my envelope cutter cut the bow. Like, I, I, I'm not quite sure where. Oh, the bow went like this, I think. And then when it was in the envelope, I snipped it with my thing. So I'm so sorry. But anyways, this is what it should have looked like. It's beautiful, right? And then you would slide that off or untie it. And this is the inside of the card. So, so pretty. Now, this is the um, every, no, flowers for every season paper that goes with that whole sunflower bundle. Super, super pretty, right? Yeah, I'm going to leave that. Oops, let me get that back in there. I always like to look at these notes again. There we go. Very, very pretty, Janine. Thank you so much. Then we have Judith Rodriguez. Judith is one of my team members, and she loves to make these fun fold cards. Now, she says, slide the oval shape up or down. Slide and lock the card topper. So watch this. You can move this up or down, depending on where you want it to be on your card. And then it opens up just like that. And so look at this. This is the little flap that goes on here that allows this to slide up and down. Judith, you are just so, make the coolest cards, doesn't she? She did a theater card as a demonstration for our last team meeting that was just out of this world amazing. Judith, thank you so much for the birthday card. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then here's Connie Pelzer. Look at how pretty this is, you guys. It's gold embossed. And then it looks like she used like a sponge to just sponge a little bit of color in here and maybe painted these with some craft ink or the um, chalk marker. That would also work. <laughs> so dirty. Yeah, beautiful. Connie, this is so, so pretty. Thank you so much. Then we have a, whoops, I don't want to show everybody's address. This is from Kim Malam. Look at how pretty that is. Red, white, and blue daisies. Love it. Happy birthday. Kim, thank you so much. Very, very pretty. And then we've got June Franco with some tulips. And this ribbon is really pretty too. But these tulips, I love that real texture look to them. That's called their distinctive designs. And look at how pretty it is inside. Very, very pretty. June, thank you. Oh, look at, I just was like, huh. Yeah, it's an easel card. I didn't even realize that until I saw that flap. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Very nice, June. I almost missed it. I'm glad I kind of like, I'm like, oh, that's not glued down. Oh, because it's an easel card. I did that on somebody else's card one time, but we caught it before I put it away. How pretty that is. June, thank you so much. Then we have this beautiful card. This is from Lynn Bitter. And this is a buckle card because it buckles like it's a belt buckle. Look at how cute that is. I love this paper, right? Oh, gorgeous. Look at how pretty the flowers are. And then she also has a little note in here for me, but she, she put some flowers with some rhinestones on her little note. And what a cute thing to do, right? Yeah, this is just really, really sweet. Love this. There we go. Very pretty. Oh, let me put this with it. Here comes another one. Oh, look at how fun that is with that little peekaboo window on the sides here. Yeah, this is from Sharon Chapa. Very, very cool, Sharon. This is the Flowers for Every Season designer series paper that goes with the Sunflower bundle. Very, very cool. I like that layout. And here we have some airmail. Oh my gosh, this one is super, super cute, you guys. Um, hang on. This is from... Uh, oh. Let me see, let me see. Linda. At Lilo Crafts. It says J. Worth. This came from another country, and I thought I knew what country it was. And now I don't. So anyways, it comes from another country. 
It came by airmail, and I don't know where it came from. It looks like the UK. Is that the Queen? I think it is. Oh my gosh, now my whole... I, oh, the UK, yes! Yes, look at how cute this is, you guys. This card is substantial. There are so many layers on this card. This is the ornate that I use that rectangle on these cards. That's that ornate um, edgelet. Oh, so pretty. How did she do that? Oh, she cut this and split it apart to make an octagon. That is very clever. This is the whale ribbon and this stinking adorable. Oh, and she's got some shiny crystal effects type stuff on the hoofs and the um, little zebra's muzzle. Isn't that cute? Very, very cute. Thank you so much, Linda. You are wonderful. This is adorable. All right, you guys. I think I will save the rest of my birthday cards for the next time we get together. I'm going to turn you guys around now, so hang tight if you get sick. And... Oh, for, oh there we go. Oh, my phone is really hot. There I am. Yay! Yeah, I took my jacket off. Whew. That was hot. It looks almost like I'm naked here, but I, I'm wearing clothes. Don't worry. I may or may not have a bra on. Just saying. Too much? Maybe? <laughs> I hate them. Hi, Jenna! I hope you had a wonderful time in Iowa. Jenna came to visit my friend Dina this week from Washington to Iowa. Holy cow, right? Yeah. It's fun. Okay. I think... That's all I have for you guys tonight. I have got to, I've got the photographs done for these projects. So all I have to do is watermark them, edit them a little bit, and get a blog post put together. And then I will be sharing this video with my YouTuber. So regardless of whether you're on Facebook or on YouTube later, please click on that share button. It really helps me. Click, give me a thumbs up. That also helps me in Facebook analytics. And orders are always appreciated. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I will see you back. Let's see, what are our dates? Today is the 19th, so next week is the 26th. I will see you back here on Sunday night. I do plan on having a video. Don't forget my blog hop tomorrow night. Okay, just saying. Summer fun is our theme. You don't want to it. You're going to find that on my blog. My blog address. Um, let me hear your screen because easy right can't you guys read backwards what's wrong with you oh <laughs> you don't want to go there hang on we're having technical difficulties I hit the wrong button mm. there we go I'm back uh, there we go oh my lord that was hard now I'm backwards again Oh, jeez. Here's my host code. Right here. New host code. If you do place an order, please use this code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have those. Always want you to have those. But if your order is under $150, you don't qualify for those rewards. So then you use this code. And that makes it easier for me to buy door prizes for everybody. Yay! So, you guys have yourselves a wonderful week. I should have a tip video on Wednesday. I need to get that done tonight before I leave tomorrow. And I don't know why I'm not seeing. There we go. Here comes my here comes my comments. I'm like, I can't see your comments. I don't know what's going on. Why does it have to be so hard? <laughs> and Bonnie wants to know if I have glasses, does with your million dollars. So here's how the million dollars works. And yes, if you buy my kit class, that helps with my million dollars. Because all the products that are included in the kit, you um, that goes towards my sales. So I have to order them to put them in the kit. The, you know, the ribbon, the embellishments, the designer paper. So yes, that does help get towards my million. 
Um, somebody else was thinking that they're on my team, so when they place an order using their discount, that helps me get to my million. That does not help, but it's great for them, and that's what's important. Only things that I sell help me get to my million. What my team sells does not help or buys. We don't discriminate here in Menasha. <laughs> that does not contribute, I should say, to getting to my million. It's only my personal sales. So when people go to my online store and make a purchase, that goes towards my million. When I make purchases of cardstock or product to put in kits or online classes, that helps towards my million. So that's what the million is made up of. It is my sales and my sales alone. That's kind of a lot, right? I'm like, woo, that's a lot. So, and with every $50 that you order in the month of July before tax and shipping, you will get a $5 coupon to use in August. Thank you. It's called bonus days. Somebody just reminded me of it. I completely forgot to mention that, I think. So yeah, you get bonus days coupons, and you can get as many coupons as you want. So if you put in a $100 order, you're going to get two $5 coupons. Now, Stampin' Up! is going to send you an email. You have to make sure that you hang on to that email because your code numbers are in there. And then you just copy them and put them into the manage codes. When you place an order, it'll say, do you have a code or something like that. You put that in, and it'll take $5 with, for each code off of your August order. So, Judith had to leave. Oh, totally get it, Judith. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. It is always a pleasure to have you here. I absolutely adore you. Judith is from Madison. She is hysterical. Like, she, a, she leaves a comment on all my YouTube videos, and I always get a giggle out of them. So, thank you for that, Judith. You are brightening my day every time you do that. I love it. All right, Ruth is going to be watching the replay. Um, yeah, you guys can all watch the replay. I'm going to get busy and get all of these cards onto my blog, get this uploaded, get all the things done. I also have to make a bunch of videos tonight before I can go to bed so I can go on my trip to Marquette tomorrow. I'm so excited! Thank you for tuning in, you guys. I really do adore you, and you make it possible for me to have this amazing job that I love. Yeah. Have yourselves a great week. Bye-bye.